Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Bangladesh to get the latest videos on ELT, TESOL, TEFL, English Literature, Linguistics and Applied Linguistics. This is MLR, Chairman of ILTF and Head of Linguistics Baita Bangladesh with ELT course Paper 5, Approaches and Methods of Language Teaching, Part 1, Communicative Language Teaching, Unit D. As a part of MA in ELT program, this lecture is on role of teacher in communicative approach or CLT classroom. In this module, you will also learn how learning English can be made easier, quicker, faster, and more effective by using CLT method. So, this video is very important and helpful for you. Learn English by English. Keep watching my English medium videos. I maintain international standard in teaching English. Let's begin. Introduction. In the traditional method, role of teacher in the classroom was as a says on the stage, which has been shifted in the communicative approach to as a guide on the side of the learners. Unlike teacher-centered traditional classroom, in learner-centered CLT classroom, teacher's role has been specified by the linguists as a good facilitator, manager, guide, anchor, counselor, monitor, observer, mentor, motivator, organizer, controller, assessor, promoter, model actor, role player, listener, tutor, analyst, moderator, participant as well as an interlocutor to report the learning environment with the learners. Linguists view. According to research and Rogers 2001, changes in language teaching method throughout history have reflected recognition of changes in the kind of proficiency learners need. With the emergence of new business opportunities across Europe and the growth of new multinational companies, the need of enable students to communicate in other languages became a dire one. The existing language teaching methodology then failed to serve this function. Consequently, linguists and language teaching specialists call for a new approach that may enable students to use the language communicatively outside the classroom. This approach has been named the communicative approach. This change from the traditional methodology to communicative methodology has undoubtedly introduced radical changes in the role of the teachers in the classroom. Before reviewing the role of the teacher as a facilitator within the communicative approach, let's first introduce the role of the teacher in the traditional methodology to put the viewers in the right context. The traditional role of teacher in the classroom is a says on the stage. Before the emergence of the communicative approach to language teaching, the role pertained to the teacher was that of a lecture giver. This lecturing method can be defined as a method by which the instructor gives an oral presentation of facts or principles to learn learners and the class usually begin responsible for note-taking and memorizing the very little or no participations from the learners. The teacher then is the authority in the classroom and the possessor of knowledge while learners are just like empty vessels to be filled in with information. This status of the teacher being a knowledge holder or a sage on the stage is deeply rooted in history. This lecturing method was also a good way of making the learners dependent on their teachers. Sutherland 1976 points out that in the lecture method, students submit themselves to the authority of the lecturer and accept as gospel all his prejudices and warranted assumptions and mistakes instead of pursuing the truth. The teacher had always been at the heart of the teaching process. 
the teacher as the model of the target language the one who introduces the lesson explains it and sometimes provides students with the native language translation students task on the other hand was limited to taking notes memorizing rules and imitating their teacher in a word students learn what their teacher knows Within the framework of this teacher-centered methodology, learners usually fail to engage in a genuine communication outside the classroom. The goal of any language instructor, however, has always been to enable students to communicate in the target language in real situations. At the end of 1960s, linguists and educators began to realize that besides the grammatical and structural nature, language has also a social nature and used to perform social functions. Learners, therefore, should be engaged in performing certain communicative functions and the learning process should henceforth revolve around the learner rather than the teacher. The teacher in the communicative approach is as a guide on the side. In the early 17, 1970s, linguists and educators began to question the effectiveness of the existing linguistic structure-oriented language teaching methodology. They recognized that students need more than mastering language structures by drills. Students need to know different language functions and know where and when to say what to whom. Contrasting with the traditional teacher-centered methodology examined above where learning is under the control of the teacher. CLT advocates that students can learn the target language from different sources with freedom rather than just teachers' direct instructions. Among these sources, research 2006 mentioned number one, interaction between learners and users of the language, number two, creating meaningful and purposeful interactions between students in the target language, number three, paying attention to the language on hears and trying to reproduce in the different ways and number four attending to the feedback learners get from their interlocutors it is clear that with such principles clt methodology has marked a paradigm shift in the roles of the both learners and the teachers alike Breen and Candy in 1980 summarized the roles of the teacher within CLT as follows. The teacher has two main roles. The first role is to facilitate the communication process between all participants in the classroom, the various activities and texts. The second role is to act as an independent participant within the learning teaching group. In general, CLT with its emphasis on communication appears as a reaction against the traditional methods namely grammar translation, direct method and audiolingual method and aimed at correcting their shortcomings. The other common roles of a teacher in a CLT classroom. Other main roles are ascribed to the teacher within the CLT framework are seen as a need analyst, a counselor, and a group process manager. First, he is a need analyst in that he is required to determine and respond to learners' language needs. Though primary role of a teacher is to deliver classroom instructions that help students learn to accomplish this, teachers must prepare effective lessons, grade student work, and offer feedback, manage classroom materials, productively navigate the curriculum and collaborate with other staff. We also observe that the natural way of acquiring a language is slow and inefficient and the purpose of language teaching is to make this process faster and simpler. He suggests that language teachers need to assist learners by providing them with frameworks, 
patterns and rules to develop their communicative language skills. He recommended he the use of lexical phrase in language teaching as they are pragmatic and functional and have a clearly defined role so they guide the students in the flow of conversation and assist them in conveying meaning. The teacher also has the duty of structuring classrooms in a manner that motivates students. He should focus on both extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. Discussing topics of genuine interest for learners is a useful tool for maintaining and increasing learners' motivation. It is important that learners discuss topics of genuine interest to them while learning and practicing in English. The teacher is also charged with the responsibility of creating a conducive classroom environment. Learners' communicative skills can be developed if they are motivated and provided an opportunity to express their identity and relate their feelings to the people around them. They should feel free, secure, and valuable as individual in their learning atmosphere because a secure learning atmosphere fosters growth of interpersonal relationships between learners themselves and between the learners and the teacher, thereby making the class atmosphere safe, encouraging, and accommodating. Language teachers should provide diverse, interesting, and abundant communicative activities. In summary, the role of the teacher as one of the listener rather than speaker comes out in CLT. The teacher should be a patient listener is the basic requirement. Since the teacher talks less and listens more, he becomes an active facilitator of his student's learning. The teacher sets up the exercise, but because the student's performance is the goal, the teacher must step back and observe, sometimes acting as referee or monitor. A classroom during a communicative activity is far from correct. The teacher needs to ensure that appropriate opportunities are provided for a learner to develop listening and speaking skills. They recommended that reciting poems, telling stories, discussing contemporary issues, debating, dramatizing, performing riddles, role-playing, and speech deals can facilitate the acquisitions of these two skills in meaningful context. They encourage aspects of CLT like role play, dialogue, debate, public speaking, dictation, listening, comprehension, and others. Surely the teacher must try to equip pupils with the necessary skills to participate in effective communications in the English language in real life too. Conclusion. It must now be clear from what has been reviewed in this lecture that the role of the teacher has witnessed a radical change from that of a knowledge holder to that of a knowledge facilitator from a sage on the stage to a guide on the side. Although the primary duty of a teacher is to impart knowledge and that comes from teaching, teacher usually entails the learners to understand what is being taught as well as their duties and responsibilities in classroom. The major role of the teacher is to be facilitator of the students' learning and manage the classroom activities. The teacher is charged with the responsibilities of establishing situations likely to promote communications. In CLT learning, act learning activities are selected according to the interest of the learners. The teacher is seen as a need analyst and a counselor and group processor manager. As a need analyst, he is required to determine and respond to learners' language needs. The role of the teacher as a facilitator appeared with communication approach which marked a paradigm shift in language teaching methodology. However, with the increasing emphasis on context and technological empowerment of the teachers, it may be time to mark another paradigm shift from the views of CLT. Thank you.